Hello again, everybody. This is for a Toyota Camry 2.5 liter 2016. And the problem is for a fuel pump. When it comes to schematic, I'll, you always look for the components in the drawing that have something to do with your problem. So we know relays have something to do with the problem, fuses, and of course over here, the fuel pump, the motor. And over here, when we go, this is the computer called the ECM. When we go over here, this is the, over here is the EVAP system, which really has nothing to do with the problem. It's a no-start problem. So this will be a quick video, but just to point out main points over here. In this, in this circuit, very difficult, there's relays. One relay, two relay, three relay, four relays going to the fuel pump. The actual path of the fuel pump, if you follow the blue, and now the orange, now the blue, back over here and over here so let me do that one more time how at all times means it's always has voltage to it going through this fuse main two fuse 20 amps it comes out 12 volts here 12 volts here no voltage loss across a fuse coming out the green wire coming out here follow the arrows going into here coming out here going into the load side of another relay which is main two relay now follow the orange line which becomes a blue which goes into this relay the load side and then we have the blue it's a blue which is one coming over here again if you look at this red to red is four five is orange to orange if these pages are continued that's why there is color to color or they put numbers to tell you which one so when you put two pages together you know that five is connected to five and four is connected to four and so on and so on the main point i want to get to is in this in this circuit you have four relays responsible for the fuel pump if you would go and just look at the fuse panel pick up the the fuse cover and say okay i'm gonna look at efi main relay 12 volts there 12 volts that means it's good so it could be the fuel fuel pump bad mistake that's why i always say first always pull out the schematic you would not know that unless you pull out a schematic you would only think it's one relay involved but no again the path through this one and then through this one, and then through this one, that's two. Those are two relays, one and two. However, in order for this, in order for this one to, turn, to be turned on, this side has to be turned on. In order for this one, for current to flow, this one has to be turned on. That's where these two are involved. These two turn on the other two. I'm not going to go over the details because this was drawn, but it wasn't drawn actually good. I want to redraw it more clearer. It's, it's, it's too much vague right now. But anyway, f how, many, how many relays? One, two, three, four. It takes for this fuel pump. How many fuses involved? One, two, three, four fuses involved. One goes at hot at all times. You, you don't see any relay connected to it, right? It's connected directly to the ECM. See all these pins? This is the main computer. This has the lowest amp, 7.5 amps. That's how much you're drawing from this chip uh, module, computer chip, computer module. Other ones, 30 amps and 20 amps. That usually goes to a motor or a fan or a pump, something drawing a lot of current. The main point is, if you wouldn't look at this schematic, you wouldn't know which fuses are involved. You wouldn't know which relays are involved. You might look for, again, a EFI main relay, test it, 12 volts here, 12 volts here, fine, the fuse is good. We come over here, 12 volts here, 12 volts over here on this side. Why do I have 12 volts here? Why do I have 12 volts over here? Because when this contact closes, you see this dotted line? That means this is energized. This is pulled in. This connected to this now. 
12 volts here, 12 volts over here. It's just a switch, a contact. Therefore, we have no voltage loss across here. Where do we have the voltage drop? Across this coil. So in other words, when we come over here, when we come to a coil, see this coil? It goes, one side goes to B+, plus, the other side goes to ground. So 12 volts on this side, 0 volts on the side that goes to ground. I'm not going to go over, uh, like I said, every single one. I'll do it on a different video. But the main point is, always pull out the schematic first. Don't even rely on the scanner. You see, to diagnose this correctly, if I, if I know that this, follow the blue, the blue, the blue, the blue, the blue, the orange now becomes blue, the blue, the blue, over here, 12 volts over here, 12 volts here. If I want to know if this is working and this is working, I don't have to go 12 volts here, 12 volts here. If there's four terminals, I don't have to go through each terminal. I don't have to go through each terminal. That's four terminals here, four terminals here. That's eight terminals. If I want to know that it's 12 volts coming to the pump, all I have to go is this terminal, one out of the eight terminals. If this is 12 volts, that means all of this is working. That means this is flipped. This contact is flipped. That means this is energized. That means this is energized. That means this is energized. So one shot, actually instead of going to 12 or 16 pins with each one, you're going to go to this one. Why? This is the output. This is, this is the one feeding the fuel pump. Of course, to get to the fuel pump is in the fuel tank, as you see over here, top of fuel tank. You don't want to go there, right? You want to go under the hood, which is the easiest place to find sensors and to find the fuse and the power distribution bo uh, board and all that. That's the easiest place of access. So it's not about usually uh, troubleshooting. It's about where is the easiest place I could get access to the point of measuring the voltage. So again, one, two, three, four relays involved. You look at that fuse cover, you won't be able to figure out which ones are involved. You need a schematic. And again, this one closes. This one closes when this is activated. 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 All for this, all for this output going to this. So if this output is going to this, let's go over here and measure 12 volts. Like I said, I'll go over the whole thing and then when I get a chance, I'll go over relays in, in the car and I think you'll see something, how to test relays you've never seen before in electronics. And I guarantee you, you have never seen it anywhere else. Anyway, uh, I'd like to thank the subscribers. I have over a thousand. I'm happy about that. A year and a half uh, doing this. Um, the views, oh, that's a different story. That's that's totally different. I have more subscribers than views, believe it or not. But anyway, um, again, this is the ECM. Another point to be made here. There could be more than one 12 volt source to a module. This is the main one going in here. Then there's another one going over here. Then there's another one going over here. Three pins having 12 volts. One directly through a fuse, the other one through the relays over here. Okay? So therefore, sometimes it's to trigger the relays. Sometimes it's to give voltage to you. Uh, remember, there's a lot of boards and modules in here also. It's not just one module. There's a lot of circuits in here. So sometimes you give voltages to other circuits. That's why you'll see sometimes 12 volts, 12 volts, 12 volts, more than once. But anyway, when you diagnose, if there's a fuel problem, let's go for that symbol. Let's find it. Then we go back and say, where does it come from? Where does it come from? The relay, the relay, and to the fuses. That's where it does. You don't worry about the other parts of the schematic because it has nothing to do with the, with the problem. Accelerate position sensor has nothing to do with our problem. Transmission control switch has nothing to do with our problem. The um, canister has nothing to do with our problem. So these symbols over here doesn't matter to me. If I have a fuel pump problem, I go right wherever the symbol is, fuel pump, and I work my way back where it's coming from. If I think there's a fuse problem, where am I going to go? Right to the fuses over here. 
in the schematic. If I think there's a relay problem, I'm going to go to the relays. So wherever you think that problem has to do with, that's where you go. Thanks for watching.